Hey friends, my name is Avery. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can quickly and easily add a speed ramp in Adobe Premiere Pro. On this channel, I show you how you can grow your online presence with the power of video. That includes some Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials along with some YouTube strategy, as well as a bunch of technical geeky analytics stuff. I release a new video every single Monday, so be sure to subscribe for more content just like this. Speed ramps are a great way that you can add some dynamic to your sequences. You see them all over the place in like real estate, sports, and basically everyone's B-roll montages on YouTube. But for some reason, Premiere Pro has always gotten kind of a bad rap when it comes to its speed ramp ability. But today we're gonna to change that. It's super easy. I've already got a sequence pulled up. So let's go ahead and hop into Premiere. Okay, so I've got two clips pulled up here and I want to just go ahead and use a speed ramp to transition between the two. So we're gonna do this with keyframes. Now, before you click off, I promise keyframes are our friend. This is super easy. We're literally just gonna use one keyframe per clip. You do not have to be intimidated by this. So we can either do this by adding it in the effect controls panel or my preferred way of doing it is directly in the timeline. So we'll do this by right-clicking the little FX icon on your clip and then select time remapping and then speed. Now you'll likely have to expand the tracks here so you can actually see the little keyframe icon here on the line. You can do this by clicking and dragging either of these circles on the little scroll bar on the side or hover your mouse over the tracks and using shift and your mouse scroll wheel. Now we'll just find the point where we want our speed to change and then we'll click this little diamond here to add our keyframe. This splits our clip up so we can adjust the speed before and after that keyframe independently of one another. So for this, I wanna go from slow motion to fast. So I'm gonna set my first speed down to 40% and then my second speed up to 200%. Now the problem is if we play this back, it obviously does change the speed. This is by no stretch of the imagination a speed ram. This is more like a speed brick wall. So one thing that you may have noticed when you added that keyframe is these little tabs popped up in here on your clip. What we want to do is we actually just click and drag those to stretch out the transition and then also unlocks this little Bezier curve that we can adjust as well. This is where it kind of just takes some playing around with to dial it in for your specific transition. But once you do, you'll end up with something a little like this. Now, if you're trying to add a speed ramp to a clip that you've already added stabilization to with Warp Stabilizer, you will get an error. If that's the case, be sure to check out the video I have linked above here for a couple of workarounds on that. But otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support really does help the channel. I hope you have the best week ever, and I'll see you guys in the next video.